a warning as we get further into the spring and summer to protect yourself from mosquito and tick-borne illnesses. As CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports, one Long Island man almost died. It's going to be a bad summer. Yeah. William Green is back home in Huntington after nine weeks in the hospital. I believe when I was doing the weeding, probably I got bitten. Symptoms began with aches and pains. He was soon spiking a fever. Was it West Nile? Was it Lyme disease? I saw both neurologists and an infectious disease specialist. Long Island is a known hotbed for ticks and nuisance disease carrying mosquitoes. They were telling my children that I probably would not make. Green pulled through and wants others to learn from his plight. Wear long clothing and pay attention to bites and rashes. Mosquitoes can cause encephalitis. Green was diagnosed with that and West Nile. Ticks are spreading Lyme disease, babesiosis, and more. Researchers say our warmer winter is affecting the earlier emergence and faster development of mosquitoes and ticks. We're going to see more ticks, more mosquitoes, and if you do develop a rash or fever or chills, get medical help early. Unlike mosquitoes, ticks don't fly. You have to brush up against one to become infected. The growing wildlife population is spreading Lyme disease. Our pets are also suffering. My guys actually got um, ticks. So they got a Lyme disease, and that was just in my backyard, and I really don't even have much, um, you know, bushes or grass. Well, I pulled a tick off her, I think, a week ago. So I'm getting tests. Yeah, so they're here. I got a tick on myself. Those of us who have children, uh, we do tick checks every evening and look at their body closely. Ticks are so tiny they can hide in the scalp or creases of the skin. Do you have any advice? Yeah, use spray. Green is still unable to return to his business and continues in physical therapy. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.